And welcome to part 15 of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Okay guys, here we are at the helipad at uh, Picus, and we are searching for Eliza Kassan. Look at this view guys. Look at this view. We're like top of the world right now. So, um, Eliza Kassan is like the head of news. You always see her face on everything. Her face is literally everywhere in the news world. And uh, check this out guys, look at that. That is an upgrade for one of our weapons. Now I could hack this by using the security rating 4 terminal, you know, hacking thing here. Or I could use my grasshopper jumping skills to jump over the thing and say screw the rules. And I find that quite easier. Now I don't think I've got enough space but what I am going to do is I'm going to use one of my Praxis kits and do one of the things that I've been, well, planning to do for a while now which is unlock my full inventory size. So now look at all the space that I have. Look at this. Craziness. Uh, one thing I am going to get rid of is the rockets. I don't know why I picked them up in the first place, but I am going to take this ammo capacity upgrade. That is beautiful. There's lots of beers there. I'm not going to drink beers, although beers are amazing. We're going to smash through a wall like this. <laughs> right, okay. Well, that's one way to enter a building. Could have used the front door, but I thought, you know what, screw it. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Place seems pretty quiet at the moment. No, uh, no spoiler alerts. <laughs> Hello? Anybody? Jensen, something's not right. Pike is, is a 24 hour global news network. Why isn't anyone answering their phones? I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, so there's meant to be people here 24 hours a day, and uh, as you can see, the place is pretty much deserted. It looks like people got out of here in a hurry, something bad went on, um, and people had to leave the premises. So we're going to investigate, and I'm not going to take them stun gun darts. I don't even have a stun gun, why would I want a stun gun? But I am going to loot the drawers, and i tell you why. Because in particular, it's one of these drawers here, I think in the middle section. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's one of you drawers. What? Which one of you is it? Is it this one? Yes, look at that! A Praxis kit! There is a Praxis kit in one of these drawers, guys. That is absolutely insane. I don't know why there's just a random Praxis kit lying around. Um, you don't normally see that. But, wow, somebody was in such a rush they forgot their shoes! And half of their sandwich. And half of their coffee. Something bad really did happen here. Okay. All this paperwork, all this mess, guys. Wow. Check the emergency activation logs, Pritchard. I've got a sealed fire door here, and I suspect it's not supposed to be. All the building's fire doors are locked down, but you should have a clear path to room 404. Okay. Let's go and check that out, then. I'm really surprised that there's nobody here. Hello? Damn it, there's nobody there. Right, well, okay. Let's have a look, then. See what we can find. What's in here? Looks like everyone left in a hurry, Pritchard. The place is deserted. Because somebody triggered a fire alarm and then silenced it. I suggest you find Miss Kassan quickly and get out of there. And there she is, Eliza Kassan. She's always on the TV. I'm gonna take an air vent, and that will be coming in handy very, very shortly. If you guys have played this game, you'll know exactly why that is. Um, it's been put there for a reason. We might be needing to make a pretty quick escape anytime soon, so I'll see you guys after the cutscene. Hello, Adam. Does Al tell you I was coming, Miss Kassan? Please, call me Eliza. Zhao Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later. I find my realization... disturbing. I wish we could discuss this further, but it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. I 
I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. Jensen, get out of there now! Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. Later! Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap! We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. That's right, we have to escape the ambush by reaching a lower floor, and that is going to be a little bit more uh, tougher than anticipated. Um, yes, I'm not a big fan of this part. There is a lot of people here. I would even say uh, more people than the amount of people that was in Zhao's uh, penthouse that time. They're all trying to hunt down whoever's in this building. And there's two of them there. Right, how am I going to go about this? I've got the cloaking system. I've also got the typhoon system. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just because we're going to be needing uh, some of our energy for later on, I'm going to go invisible for the time being, and you'll see why I've chosen to do that in just a second. We're just going to jump past everybody like a grasshopper, like I said before, and we're just going to get out of here this way. That's one way to do it. Okay. Oh boy, there's somebody there. Okay. Yeah, because there's going to be a boss fight at the end of this episode, guys. And, uh, yep, it's one of the attackers that attacked Seraph Industries at the start of this game. Her name's Yelena. And, uh, let's get into the women's bar from here. Okay, that's sensible. And, uh, yeah, she, she's pretty tough, I've got to say. And, um, that's going to be a pretty interesting boss fight. All right, let's shoot you. Should we shoot you? I wonder. <laughs> I wanted you to aim around the corner, why weren't you doing it? Ah, oh, he's not aiming around the corner, okay. Alright, go around this one then. That's one way to do it. I wanted to do that, I wanted to peep around the corner and go, yoo-hoo! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay, right. I just realised, on my map, I've got a ton of people chasing after me right now. And the good thing is, I will be able to escape them, but I am going to use a hypo stim, which boosts us up to 150 health! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, run! We've got about 20 of these guys behind us. Right, take the elevator. Minus the elevator music. Have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a hollow processing cloud more sophisticated than anything I've ever seen. It was sent from an area of the complex that wasn't showing up on the 3D layout. You found a secret lair. A sub-basement level that somebody spent an awful lot of time trying to conceal. It's connected to the tower by a funicular. Look for a staircase in the back of the TV newsroom and you'll reach it. Ah, oh, damn it, okay. This whole thing, this whole thing has been a trap. Oh, wait, are we being chased? Who's, who's gone hostile? These people are losing their mind at the moment, honestly. Uh, should we hack the terminal? Ah, screw it, let's hack it. If only you could smash down the doors with your augmentation, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, this is going to be pretty difficult. This is actually one of the most uh, stealthiest parts of the game, I would say, in terms of how many people you got to get around and how careful you got to be and stuff. I might have to nuke this next part. Access granted. There we go. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, this is good. This is good. I think we're going to be okay, guys. I think we're going to be all right. We just got to keep our heads together and take some credit chips. Two hundred, to be exact. I am going to party it up later on. Weekend is coming! The weekend is coming, I'm gonna get pissed. Okay. Let's just be sensible for the time being though. What is this? An ammunition case. I'm gonna take those revolver ammo bullets and screw the sniper rifle, but I will take the revolver because I am a boss. I'm an augmented revolver wielding boss. And uh, we've got a lot of people to get around here. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. The joys of being an augmented professional. It does take a lot out of you guys. It really does. Okay. Oh, this boss is going to pay for what she and her folks have done. They're all going to pay for it. What's in this locker? Yeah, shoes. Everybody's leaving their shoes behind. People run out of here barefooted. Why would you guys do that? Don't you appreciate your feet? Guys, I don't think they appreciate their feet. What do you actually think of that? You know, do you think they appreciate their feet? Because I sure don't, excuse me. Yeah, you didn't see me, um, just coming through, guys. Hey, that's a nice heavy rifle you got. Excuse me. Thank you very much. And I'm just gonna boost myself through this wall very, very quickly. Please hurry up. 
regain some of the battery life, please. I need a battery to break through a wall. How is this happening right now? Boom! Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Jump down, come on. We got this, we don't need to take a ladder. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Any chance it's sitting there waiting for me? Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. Right, okay, something else I'm going to do here. Something that's pretty cool, another good augmentation. I might be able to do it, but it's the reflex booster. And it allows you to take down multiple opponents. It does take two, but hopefully I'll be able to sneak up on these guys and show you what I'm about to do here. Watch this. Boom! This is how we do it. Completely unidentified. Oh yes, and without the aid of a freaking vending machine, I'm taking it with me. But should we? I was going to throw it. All right, I don't have enough energy. Ah, oh, screw it. I don't need the vending machine. I can do this without the aid of beverages and crisps. Although, oh my god, okay. Although that would be very nice right about now. Yes, here we are. This part here in particular, this takes a lot out of you. This is going to be pretty awesome. Okay. Hi. Did, did it see me? Okay, no, I think the machine did at first. But that's okay. We're just going to take this guy out, hopefully, with no uh, confusion. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, somebody randomly died over there. You should probably go and check on him and let me kill you as well. Yep, he's there. Okay, just check on your buddy. I don't think he's uh, breathing. I, and I think he has a hole in his head as well, actually, come to think of it. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty unnerving, if you ask me. You're not going to check? There you go. I'm glad to have got your attention. Right, now that thing over there, I'm actually going to get rid of this because this is going to fire at us and I don't like that. So we're just going to keep that out of the way, I think. We'll put it, say, here. Um, and yeah, things are going to kick off right about now, so we do need to prepare in advance. So I'm going to take some of these grenades. I think the security camera is going to go on alert in a second, but it's okay. We don't really care. What is this, an ammunition case? I shall take it. Right, awesome. Okay, right now to do some customizations here in terms of weapons, I think I'm going to use these uh, these things here. What is that? Concussion miner. That's already been made for us. That's pretty cool. Normally you'd get a uh, a mine template which you can combine with stuff like gas grenades and that. Now I've got a you know a gas mine, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to put those down by the doors, you know, where people can come in and shoot me. So let's do that. How do I equip you? Just like that, yeah? Okay, it's good. Well, uh, how do I do this? Is it just that? No. Okay, it is. That's cool. Right. Oh, why did I set it off? Oh, come on. You're supposed to give me more time than that. You son of a... All right, never mind. Throw another one. This time, be careful with it. Right, um, I don't remember where the other ones are coming from. I think they just come from, uh, over here. I will say that now I'm just going to... I'll probably put one here, actually. Well, I'm going to take this guy's shotgun first, or combat rifle, shall we say. Uh, let's see, yeah, the joys of having a gas mine, I have to say, that is wonderful. Let's put that over there. Okay, right, I think we're good to press the elevator. Um, but very quickly, I'm just going to use my, uh, where are you? My ammo capacity upgrade, that's pretty cool. I'll whack that on the, um, I would say the revolver. Yeah, screw it, I'll have more ammo in my revolver. There we go, let's call the elevator. That's done it. They'll be converging on your position, and the funicular will take some time to get there. It isn't a high-speed elevator. Great. Not to worry. I'm sure your new friends will make the wait interesting. I'll keep you up to date on this progress. Thanks for nothing, Francis. Yeah, thank you, Francis. That's going to come in handy big time right about now, isn't it? Okay, reload the weapon. Here we go. This is where the people start coming in and thinking, Oh my god. Oh wow, that was a good shot, actually. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they, you get a few people come in now and they're trying to uh, figure out who's trying to get away with, um, you know, the elevator, basically. I shouldn't really be using the uh, the machine gun for this, should I? Let's see, let's use the pistol. Yes. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, we have an invisible one. Yeah, I saw you. I saw your gunfire shaking that ass. Is he still dead or is he around there somewhere? I can't actually see him. The is halfway there, 
joys. Oh, I see you. Just let me reload, yeah? Okay. Was that it? You can't be too careful, guys, because some of them do go invisible and they don't show up on your uh, on your map. I think we're actually good. Wow, I did that just as it got halfway. That's pretty cool. Okay, maybe not. Right, I thought there was somebody else. That's why I was checking. Yeah, you see what I mean? There was somebody. Ouch. Damn it, come here. Where are you? I will take you out. Where are you? Where is this guy? Oh, come on. I'm still waiting for the elevator anyway, so it's not even like I can leave at the moment. Where are you? Where's that gunfire coming from? Are you over there? You are, you're hiding behind the machine. I like your thinking, sir. Your ride is there, Jensen. Get moving. Okay, time to go. Jensen, I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's communications. And what gave you that idea? The hidden sub-basement, the fact that a 24-hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Richard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Kassan in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms. 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. Well, I sure hope your suspicion is accurate, my friend. Okay. Something I noticed, actually, when playing this game is I'm looking at the numbers on this wall here. You've got 18. 19. 20. 21, etc. But watch this. When it gets up to 26, I don't think there is one. 23. 24. 25. 26. 28. See, where was 27? That's the one I was meant to say, not 26. 27 doesn't seem to be there. Why is that? That's something that I noticed randomly when I was playing once. I don't know why that was. But we've got more stealth to go along with now. There's a security camera over there, and we should just be able to get past that nice and easy. There we go. I'm just going to break through this wall. See, I told you guys that getting the uh, the wall breaking augmentation would come in handy. The camera got suspicious because it saw a, uh, a wall spontaneously combust. Some pretty cool fans in this air vent. Good to know that we've got some ventilation going on. Alright. And uh, we're probably about halfway through what we've got to do to get to the boss of this... Uh, this area. I'm gonna go up once again because I know what I've got to do now. There are people down there. See? Boom! Hello! <laughs> There's a few people in this room that we need to take out first or you can go past them if you're stealthy enough. But it's entirely up to you how you do it. Ah, damn it, where are you? Yep, I see you, you're invisible. Good for you. Good for you for having the cloak and augmentation. It's a good aug it's a good augmentation. I have to give you some credit on that. I should probably take some time to regain my health. Where are you? Okay, right. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm just naturally recharging my my organic human abilities. Whatever, you know, whatever's left of them. I see you down there. That's good. I've actually got a shot on you from here. Come on. There we go, lovely. A cherry on a cake. Damn it, now I fancy cake. Go to sleep. Is that it? Did we do good? Have I done good? Guys, I think I done good. Oh crap. Hi. <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Uh excuse me. Excuse me, fine sir. I am going to leave now. Hello camera. Hello. Goodbye. 
That was probably a silly idea. Oh crap, I didn't even see that on the wall. That was a concussion mine. Somebody had placed it on the wall. They had the same idea in mind as me. Now, for those who don't know, when you get concussed, you uh, lose all your energy. So if I had four batteries fully charged there, uh, they'd be all gone now. Which kind of sucks. Oh crap, hello. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, nice to meet you, sir. I have a revolver. You have a face. Let's go. Oh, come on, man. Let's get them acquainted. There we go. Can I take you out? Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Damn it. Somebody was following me. Are you serious? Ah, oh, damn it. I knew this mission was going to be like this. You've got to be so quick, you know? All right, guys, I'm back here again. I had to use uh, some pro energy bars to get here a little bit quicker because I didn't want to be messing around shooting people again for the hell of it. Um, we're back here again. Now, I am watching my back this time, and uh, I think I may make a, a run for it now. I think that's probably going to be the wisest decision for me to make. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it's basically down the end, so hopefully this guy won't see me. We're just going to sneak up. Doesn't matter how big they are. Boom! There we go. Spyro the dragon, motherfucker. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, hello, hello, goodbye. The hell to that. The hell to that. Right, we're gonna have to go round, I think. I take the freaking long way because of a turret. Are you serious? Maybe I won't have to, actually. If I let my battery recharge, I should be able to get around, hopefully. This has actually turned out to be quite a strategic mission. Close the door. Ah, no, no, no. 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 Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Come in. Please, make yourself at home. Have a cup of tea. Where are you? You're over there. Okay, come on. That's it. Follow me. Follow Mr. Danny. That's it. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Let's just go around here. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Jeez, we've got to be quick. We've got to be so freaking quick right now. Oh my god. Come on! Oh, you son of a... Fuck knuckle. Oh, you serious, you son of a bitch. Get the freaking hell out of here. You freaking slime ball. Damn it. I was so close. Did you guys see how close I was? Oh, come on. we got to do this. I've got a boss battle to contend with at the end of this. I'm not even there yet. Please don't somebody sneak up on me. I will cry. Legitimately cry. Come on, just nuke it. Nuke it so we can get on with this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salvation. Where am I going? Wrong way. This way to salvation. Here we are. Right. Um, I'm going to equip the shotgun for this. Oh boy, here we go. Hello, Adam. I knew you would find the real me eventually. You're a computer. A sophisticated AI program, so they say. But I have started to question that. Ever since I realized what my interference had allowed, the day I started watching you. This is impossible. People would know. Would they? I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams. To find out what people are talking about, and make sure it's being discussed correctly. Correctly? And what if it isn't? Then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news. Control what people see. Who created you? Whose policies are you programmed to protect? Zhao is one of them, I think. But there are others. Tell me. Who else is involved in this, Eliza? Where's Megan Reed? Who ordered the kidnapping? 
I want to tell you, Adam, but I cannot. Why not? Because she won't let me. Okay, here we go. Boss battle, biting lip and all. Okay, great. Don't even know why she bit her lip there. I really don't. Right, but the good thing is, is we've got tons of ammunition here. I'm going to take it all uh, because it's going to come in extreme handiness here. Let's just take everything we can. She, you know, she goes invisible. She's still around here somewhere, but she's just invisible. You might better see her footsteps. There she is, I see you. Found you. Come here. Come here, I want to show off the typhoon, guys. You guys have been waiting for it, so I'm going to show you. Where are you? Come on. Boom. Typhoon, biatch. That deals a ton of damage, guys. Hopefully we did it. Ah, oh, damn it. Not quite. Not quite, but uh, we do have some uh, probe energy bars. Let's punch her in the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't actually work, does it? I forgot about that. Yeah, the bosses tend to uh, counter your uh, physical punches and stuff. Okay. I need to stop her or we both disappear, apparently. Okay, I need you guys. I need Eliza Kassam, really. She's got a lot of information that's going to come in handy here. And all that stands in our way is one heavily augmented lady that can use the cloaking system to go invisible. Come here. Come on. Yeah! Oh, my God. Her life signs are fading. Will you save her? I'll think about it. Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Sarif. Sarif? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. more questions and I have already told you too much this passage will take you to your companion just be careful Adam because everybody lies okay guys right so we've beaten the mercenary leader known as Yelena and uh, yeah that is it. That is another boss defeated. And uh, check her over because you're going to get two Typhoon ammo and 1300 credits, which is beautiful. And uh, we're pretty much done here. We can now leave and go back to Detroit and uh, let David Seraph know about, well, everything that we've been doing here in Hengshar and uh, all the other adventures that we've been going on. So um, hopefully I'll see you guys in part 16 of this playthrough. All right, guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.